A new pandemic, that's what we could be heading for if COVID-19 variants become the dominant strain of the virus here in British Columbia. That's the somber assessment from Dr. Bonnie Henry as case counts of mutations rise. CTV's Bender Sajjan now on what the province is doing to track the variants. In Toronto, the first COVID-19 variant from Brazil has landed. We are in a position of great uncertainty with respect to variants, but what we know is alarming. There's growing evidence the mutations are easier to get and transmit. That's prompting this warning. We are in a transition from one pandemic to another, a transition to a new pandemic. Do you agree with that type of terminology? <laughs> Sadly, yes. It does change the game in some ways if it starts to take off and become dominant in the community. In BC, there are now 40 cases linked to the UK and South Africa variants. That's up from eight two weeks ago. All of us are dreading that. We've all been through this and uh, you know, it's been over a year. Dr. Bonnie Henry says the lockdown on travel and quarantines should help slow growth. It tends to be a younger population. So these are people who have traveled or have been in contact with people who have traveled for the most part. Of the cases involving variants, three are active. A special test detects variants, but it takes up to a week. The CDC will soon screen a full day's worth of samples to find out how prevalent the variants are. So that we do have a better understanding of are we catching people or is there more out there that we're missing? She says the rules of engagement with the virus aren't changing, but we do need to take notice. Binder Sajjan, CTV News, Victoria.